And what up guys, Panic here, otherwise known as Panic Picnic, and today I'm going to be doing an overview of Baptiste. Uh, I'm going to be doing a little bit of showing you how to play as well as a little bit of issues that he does have if you are new to him. Uh, so first things first, let's go ahead and look at Baptiste. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the healer gallery and press F1. Uh, so obviously he's got his biotic launcher. Uh, his primary, his left click, is just going to be his regular gun. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Um, but you primarily won't be using this anyways. This will really only be good for just finishing off a few units. Um, like a few, a uh, few heroes, sorry. Uh, I find it primarily useful mainly when you're just being assaulted by like, maybe like a Torbjorn or something like that. It really doesn't do enough to make it like worthwhile, but I mean, it is a little bit of, um, your DPS. Uh, the main thing you'll be using and primarily what you'll be using is this biotic launcher. Now, um, it doesn't heal a whole lot as you can see, but it does have a decent area of effect. It's not as big as Anna's nano grenade um, from what I've seen and from what I've played. Um, I'm not entirely sure of the exact details on its radius. But it is kind of smaller than what you would think, so I would definitely make sure you're a little bit closer on that. Um, his oh, also a big thing to note, uh, know about this uh, his right click, which is this lob grenade. This does not heal you. This only heals your allies. Again, this does not heal you at all. That's it. It doesn't heal you. It only heals your allies. That is the biggest thing to know. However, you do have a heal yourself. It is called regener regenerative burst. Um, this is going to be able to heal yourself and, of course, nearby allies over time. Um, easy way to see it, as you can see, it's very, very slow. Um, I would compare it pretty much to Lucio's, um, uh, you know, amp up. Not the beat, but like, you know, uh, but not as fast. Like I said, he's basically average on that. He's almost a combination of, of course, uh, Lucio with his three round burst um, on his weapon and his regenerative burst with a, a combination of. Anna and the biotic launcher, and then if you'll see soon with his uh, passive, a also a combination of slightly Farah, uh, but like I said, a little garbage in every area. Um, one thing, um, of course, you have his E, which is one of the things that I really like to use, and that's his immortality field. We're going to toss a device that prevents allies from dying, and this device can be destroyed. Now, it doesn't actually prevent like a hundred percent death as you can see um, it's not gonna take your allies down to um, it's not gonna prevent it at the HP of one I believe it only does about what, what's 40 of 200 um, about uh, what, well I should be able to know this it's about 20 uh, 20 percent of your HP from uh, the looks of it so you're gonna get uh, you're gonna stay alive with about 20 percent of your HP and uh, that's where it's gonna cap you there uh, so just be mindful of that. Um, it's not going to stop at one. It's going to stop at that 20% marker. Um, I'm not sure if if someone is, let's say, at, um, since you're at 20% 20, 20 of someone's max HP, I'm not sure if it's you're at 10 HP. If you throw it down, it won't go any lower. But um, I really wouldn't want to throw it down that low anyways. And of course, uh, the thing I did mention to earlier, we have his passive, which are his exo boots. Um, it's, like I said, it's just a little bit of a leap. It's mainly just to get into a little bit of better positioning. But, in general, I'm going to go ahead and just show you a little bit more. We're going to go ahead and jump into the practice range with Baptiste. And again, I'm going to show you a little bit of things. I'll also turn down the volume for you. Uh, I no think, dying on my uh, at least for myself, it's a little bit loud. So, I'll turn it down to 40. I do apologize if it is uh, too low. Uh, but again, this is only just to really demonstrate uh, a little bit of Baptiste in action again. Um, of course, as you can see, we're just going to go right up here um, to these 5 meter bots. Uh, as you can see, one shot directly into the head. It does do a decent amount of damage. That's, that's no question, especially with a headshot. Um, but the thing is, it is only 3 round burst. And I'm going to try to click this as fast as possible so you can see just how slow he actually shoots. 
Um, I know it's not entirely super slow, as you can see, but it is slow enough that it's, like, we're gonna just try to kill him as fast as possible. See, like, you're out, your enemies are gonna have time for you to move out of the way. Um, also, like, I mean, I haven't changed my HUD on him just yet, uh, to my preferred, uh, ability to see. But, um, this is mainly what you're gonna be doing in body shots, and as you can see, I'm not entirely sure how much HP these bots do have. But that is three body shots, like three, oh, hold on, let's count the bullets. So just three, each time, each shot just three bullets. So that's, that's one, that's one set of three, that's two set of three. So that is a three plus three plus two. That's a total of eight shots to kill a bot. One of the um, bullets didn't hit, um, if you couldn't tell. Um, so he doesn't do a lot of damage. Uh, that's really the my main thing to know. Um, what I like to do is when I do play him, I like to just constantly spam my right click and uh, mix in some uh, bullet fire in it like this. You're, it's mainly kind of like fiery, but that's it. You're going to be doing a lot more healing than anything. Also, a big thing to know is uh, I'm not sure if you can see it. Actually, I'll bring it down a little bit. As you can see in the marker, um, I actually don't have a pointer right now, but. Uh, you see those little things below the horizontal um, axis of his sight. Uh, that's because the biotic grenade, as you can see, fires and then subsequently has a large drop-off. Uh, that is also a big thing to know. Um, the drop-off is a little bit weird to get used to. Um, again, I'm not trying. I'm trying to compare it to Anna, but it's a little bit different. Um, but uh, that's pretty much the best thing I can say on that. Um, also, as far as I know, and I'm a hundred percent sure. Yep, the uh, biotic. Um, well, not the biotic grenade. They call it the well, the biotic launcher, otherwise known as this right click. As you can see, again, it does no damage. So again, like I said, uh, to fire, I like doing a right click with a left click. So I'm at least getting, um, I'm getting, uh, trying to shoot out at least a little bit of damage to get his ult out. Um, mainly, I mean, again, like I tried to prioritize making sure that right click goes in first because, as you can see, uh, his damage is not the best. Now, again, um, also another thing to note is his heals are his heals are okay. Um, but the radius, as you can see, um, I mean, you, it's a little difficult to tell. It's actually not that large. It's about as large as this white box, just slightly larger, as you can tell. So that is one of the bigger things to note. Um, so make sure you're going to be shooting those. Um, also, uh, a big thing, again, to note is when you do reload, it is going to reload both your primary and your healing grenade so no worries about that he's also got a really quick reload animation so I think that's really good uh, another big thing to note as well is as you can see I've thrown this down these things are not dying this thing does last quite some time uh, however again as you can see it does die and that of course is a negative with your allies dying now um, a thing to note when you use this is that it can, Get in here. it's going to throw for a while and it's not going to stop until it almost hits the ground. So it's not, you make sure you're kind of aiming at the ground. It's got a little bit of a difference in lobbing than your regular uh, grenade. So definitely make sure of that. He kind of throws it like a frisbee. A big thing to see is, let's see, I'll stand about at this 10 meter mark. I'll just aim at that thing's head. And this thing's landing pretty close, like the grenade is landing pretty close to the robot, maybe about like two or three meters off. But Get when you here. throw it, uh, it lands kind of around about the same location, so it's, it's about the same. Um, but as you can see, it, it pops a little bit before the ground, um, before it hits. So that's again a little bit, it's got a little bit of a different uh, knack to it. Um, so that's pretty much his actual abilities out of the way uh, with of course the exception of this heal over time but that's pretty generic and easy for you guys to understand um, his his jump boots let like I said make him a little bit comparable to Farah um, only with the ability to go up pretty high it does have a pretty quick charge time as you can see I've jumped up all the way up here but the downside is you have to hold crouch while you run and another thing to note is that um, 
if you want to immediately use it and that when you hold it up all the way and if you fall off a ledge like even this small little box if you fall off it will immediately reset so if you're in the air for any period of time it's going to reset uh, another thing to note is you can really charge it so for instance i'm just going to hold it up all the way now as you can see i'm standing up and immediately it's gone away now that means i can't really just go oh man i'm gonna i'm gonna die real quick i've there's going to be like a slight delay. He doesn't really have an instant, instantaneous escape. Because you're going to know what's going to happen when he, the second he starts crouching. Because look, I've got to, I really reduce my move speed when I'm holding crouch. Well, it does have a quick, uh, quick charge time. Um, if I need to, let's say, get up here. Like, I've got someone shooting behind me. I can just go, oh no. And get up here. But again, it's, you're slowing yourself down. It's got a decent charge time. It's a little slower than you guys would think, especially when you're getting shot at. That's usually uh, a big thing to know, is things are usually a lot slower when you're getting shot at. Now, um, the last big thing to note, and that I haven't, and you haven't seen me talk about, is his ult. It's going to be ultimate amplification matrix. We're going to project a matrix that doubles the damage and healing effects of allied projectiles. Uh, this ult is really, really small, and you really, really have to know how to use it. Um, it's exactly as large as this pretty much walkway right here. Uh, a big thing to note is I'm just going to shoot... Uh, actually, let's go back up. Let's go back up here. Right, let's go this way. Let's go back to spawn, and let's go to these 5 meter robots, like I said. Um, as we know, it takes about six uh, 6 shots to kill one. Um, so we're going to just throw one of these up. It lasts for a decent amount of time. And as you can see right there, it's going to take about bot. That's three. That's maybe about four that it hit. So that's about, yeah, of course, about 50% more. Uh, damage. So that is a big thing to note. You're going to get a huge input of increase of damage. Like I said, about 50%. It's not really going to note through you. Uh, but it will uh, increase your healing. So when you do shoot your grenades through that, to heal them. Now, um, the absolute last thing I'm going to say is, since let's go ahead and leave game, is I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to tell you, in my opinion, characters I think work really well with Baptiste, um, just going through the list. And of course, heroes that, actually, I'm not going to go through heroes that look bad, I'm mainly just who does the best. I think Anna is really good with Baptiste, uh, the main reason why, she's got that nano grenade, and I think, uh, the Baptiste healing... Uh, with this right click is absolutely just going to make Anna, in my opinion, I think she's going to kind of have a little bit of a comeback to it. Um, and I think, like, she's just really good with them. Especially with her ult, um, just makes things a little bit better. Because you can just, it just, it just helps in the long run. She's a projectile hero, makes her uh, heals do better uh, through that ult. That gr um, biotic grenade combined with Baptiste's overall healing is really good. Like, in general, I think Anna and Baptiste are pretty good uh, together. Uh, Ash and Baptiste, of course, she is a projectile. Um, I, the way I like playing Ash is more of like uh, in the jungles of Vietnam style. So I like doing just a little bit more ganking and I like trying to be a little bit more flanky when I play her. So I wouldn't recommend her, at least just for my playstyle. Uh, Bastion, of course, is going to be good with Baptiste if you can just set up that alt field and just have Bastion do 50% more damage. That uh, That's a no-brainer. Um, and also that immortality field is really good on Bastion, so that again is also really good. Uh, Baptiste can also kind of com uh, combo well with Ash since Ash's Bob counts, but again, throwing more things at Bob, I mean, that's another big thing as well. <coughs> Depending on your damage. Um, I think D.Va goes kind of well with Baptiste only because diva has got that mobility. I mean, the projectiles, you're not going to get a whole lot of benefit from your ult. Uh, but I think, I mean, I've, I've really enjoyed it uh, playing Baptiste uh, with Divas on my team. Uh, especially, I think she gets a lot of that immortality um, matrix. She definitely makes use of it the most. Also, it's really nice to uh, get that immortality field, get Diva, get her ult when everyone's trying to pop Diva. And then you just ult with Diva. It just, I've, it does pretty well. I've gotten a, um, a couple of good combos with that. Um, really, it's not so much a combo. It's more of like the team, uh, the enemy team over committing. Uh, I don't recommend it with Doomfist. Uh, he's a little too quick. Well, yeah, you get that AOE heal. Uh, Doomfist is always in the front of everybody. Uh, with Baptiste, you kind of want to be in the middle, um, <clears throat> mainly because you, you're too squishy to die. I mean, you're too squishy yourself. 
So you only because you only rely on one uh, on your own heal to heal yourself, while pretty much everybody in this game has a little bit more than one option, with the ex of course the exception of Anna, I believe is the only one. Yeah. Um, uh, Genji again, I wouldn't recommend. Hanzo, of course, is really good. You're gonna get especially get a uh, Baptiste and Hanzo is got is gonna be a fantastic combo. Uh, main reason why is Hanzo's ult is just gonna murder. Is just gonna once he goes through that projectile matrix from uh, Baptiste, that's a 50% extra damage dragon, and you really can't beat that. Like you're gonna get a point um, just off that. Like, in my opinion, I think that is highly underrated. Uh, I don't think anyone's done it, but I would highly, I would do that because that just sounds excessively stupid and it sounds fun. Um, Junkrat and Baptiste, uh, of course, Junkrat's always going to be taking a little bit of damage um, because he's always going to be targeted. Um, projectiles, of course, work well with his ult, um, work well with Baptiste's ult. So, oh, well, Junkrat's pretty good. Uh, I wouldn't recommend Lucio um, with Baptiste, um, Baptiste mainly because I think... He needs a little bit more, like, he needs a little bit more help. Like, Baptiste just needs a little bit more help than what Lucio can provide. I mean, it's nice for the speed boost and, of course, the, the temporary healing he provides, but I think he just needs a little bit more. Uh, McCree, of course, is going to be fantastic with Baptiste and Baptiste's ult, because Baptiste's ult is very small, and, um, of course, McCree's ult is a projectile, so that's going to be fantastic. Uh, May and Baptiste is really good. Um, I've played a... It's surprising. It works surprisingly well, especially um, like just in general. Like it's, I actually kind of like this combo, uh, mainly because May is a little bit more prominent right now. Um, but Baptiste does quite well with May. Uh, the only downside is is May walls can kind of bone you, um, as I'm sure you all know. Um, Mercy and Baptiste is really good. Um, I actually do recommend this combo mainly because you're going to your la your, due to your lack of healing and Mercy is going to be able to help yourself and maybe give yourself a little bit res when you do make a mistake or when the enemy tries to target you. Uh, More and Baptiste, obviously good combo um, um, in terms of support. Orissa and Baptiste, obviously really good. She's going to be stationary. She's going to be targeted. Uh, Orissa basically will never ever die. Uh, with her Fortify and Baptiste's immortality, like, she's just not gonna die. Uh, Farrah Baptiste, um, I think it's really good, um, with a combination of her ult, but it does require Farrah to stand on the ground, and Baptiste doesn't have a way to heal air targets, so again, that's where I think Anna or Mora or Mercy would come into play. Uh, Baptiste Reaper, uh, Baptiste Reaper's good, um, I, it's actually very good. I'm not going to lie, it's actually really damned good. Uh, the reason why it's really good is because of Baptiste's immortality. Uh, you just throw it out there, and then you just watch as the enemy team uh, flees from a, a Reaper that really cannot die unless they start targeting uh, Baptiste's immortality. So Reaper's going to get about five seconds of pure immortality, and he'll be fine. Uh, Baptiste, Reinhardt, Baptiste Reinhardt's pretty good, um, mainly because Re Reinhardt's a huge target and is always charging in and doing dumb things. Uh, at least the ones I play with, so... Uh, Sorry, I'm not judging Reinhardt mains, um, but Baptiste can heal uh, Reinhardt and, of course, make Reinhardt immortal with being in that melee, and that's definitely a big combo. Uh, Baptiste Roadhog is, of course, very good, does well with uh, Baptiste's ult, Reinhardt, uh, I mean, Roadhog gets that, um, of course, that heal, um, and, of course, becomes immortal, so you really can't beat that. Uh, Baptiste Soldier 76 is really dang good, like, Baptiste... Soldier is really good with Baptiste ult. So the basic combo is you're going to Baptiste. Uh, you're going to throw out your ult, of course. Soldier's going to start... Pop, and Soldier's going to pop his ult as well. It does require, of course, Soldier to be a little stationary. And then you throw that immortality, of course, on Soldier. And Soldier will basically wipe an area if he's got that view. If someone's in that point, they're going to die. Because Soldier's going to get that extra 50%... Uh, damage. He's going to be immortal for that five for the duration of his entire ult. And the only thing that's going to be able to shut him down is uh, an Anna. Is is basically just going to really be an Anna or something that, that can really just knock him out out of it. But that is really the only thing. Um, Baptiste Sombra. I mean, Sombra does a little bit of countering to Baptiste, uh, mainly because he she knocks out your ability to heal the. Um, you're pretty much going to be a little conservative with your immortality, so Sombra, Baptiste is not really the 
Uh, Summer is not really the largest uh, counter to you, unless you, of course, EMPs your immortality, and it's just it's very situational. Um, Baptiste Sombra, I mean, not really. I mean, you're not really going to get a whole lot out of it. I mean, that's really the only thing I can say out of it. Um, Baptiste Torbjorn, um, uh, it does well with, like, of course, you can... Um, I think it works kind of well, mainly because you've got Baptiste's ult. He does get his ult relatively quick, and you, of course you can put it in front of the turret and the extra damage, that, um, mainly because it is a projectile. Um, I think it would also uh, improve Torbjorn's ult as well, but all in all, I wouldn't recommend it. But the big thing to note is that Torbjorn is a counter to Baptiste, and the only reason why is because of Torbjorn's turret. Uh, the, um, the immortality protocol, uh, yeah, the immortality field that, um, Baptiste shows out, uh, can be destroyed, and Torbjorn's, a uh, Torbjorn's turret AI, um, I'm not sure if that's what it is, I'm not sure if AI targets AI first, but Torbjorn's turret will pretty much always targets Baptiste's immortality field, so you really need to watch out where you throw it. It's only the turret you need to watch out for from Torbjorn, but Torbjorn's turret is pretty much, in my opinion, a very hard counter to Baptiste, only because of Baptiste's immortality field pretty much being useless in that situation. Uh, Baptiste Tracer, Tracer's got low life, uh, Baptiste throws heals, and makes uh, Tracer immortal. Um, and basically everyone on his team immortal. But, uh, I mean, it's really good for team fights. Um, all in all, though, Tracer can kind of get up on Baptiste, even though uh, Baptiste's got his jump boots, because by the time you charge it up, you're already dead. Uh, Baptiste Widowmaker, of course, you've got the increased projectile. Um, oh, also, by the way, if you throw your um, Baptiste immortal, uh, your Baptiste ult, which amplifies your damage, uh, Tracer grenades are disgusting. Just a heads up. Uh, Baptiste Widowmaker, I mean, of course, you're going to get that 50% increase in projectile, but that does rely a lot on the, um, uh, the skill of the Widowmaker, and again, that Widowmaker's got to be within that small little square area, so pretty much everyone's got to be on that side of the square, so, I mean, you're not getting a whole lot out of it, but he is a little bit of a, uh, a decent counter to Widowmaker, uh, only because of his jumps, he can get up to where Widowmaker is a little bit quicker. Uh, Baptiste Winston, uh, Baptiste Winston's good. Again, immortality um, makes Winston can play a little bit more reckless, um, and he's going to get a whole lot of healing off on Winston. Uh, Winston doesn't really counter Baptiste, um, with the exception of Winston's uh, shock bubble again, uh, hard countering uh, the immortality field. So that is a big thing to note, is that honestly Torb and Winston are your biggest uh, things you need to worry about. Uh, Wrecking Ball, uh, Bastion does really well with Wrecking Ball on your team. Again, you're getting that Immortality, and Wrecking Ball is always in the field. Uh, he's getting that heals, he's getting that, um, he's getting basically everything he needs, and of course, the, um, uh, he gives that little bit increase of damage. Uh, he doesn't get a whole lot of, of course, benefit from that projectile of his ult. Uh, Wrecking Ball also, in my opinion, does not counter Baptist. I don't care what anyone says, um, it doesn't. Um, I mean... The only thing Wrecking Ball really could do is just knock people out of Bastion's Immortality Field, but that's really about it. Like, I haven't, like, a lot of, every time I play Baptiste, I just play around Wrecking Ball. Wrecking Ball's a joke when I play Baptiste. It's just my opinion. Uh, Zarya Baptiste, um, I mean, Zarya's already just gonna be ungodly strong with, uh, her shields. Throw that in with Baptiste healing her, and again, an Immortality Field, and Baptiste's own self-heal which is also like a ghetto um, Lucio heal, and your Zarya's going to be pretty dang good. You can't really beat that. Um, a good person to have on your team. Um, also, Zarya, Baptiste is really good together, uh, mainly because, of course, gravitational field with uh, Baptiste's uh, little sh uh, ult going on. That's pretty good, and uh, you can't beat that. Um... And lastly, of course, uh, Baptiste and Zenyatta. Baptiste and Zenyatta are always, I mean, they're really good. Um, you've got the Discord Orb uh, with Zenyatta. You've got Baptiste giving out uh, burst heals to counter with Zenyatta's single target heals. Uh, Baptiste can help heal everybody. I mean, I think Baptiste and Zenyatta is pretty good. Also, you've got two really good ults. 
Uh, I mean, you have one really good ult with the Zenyatta and uh, the situational ult with Baptiste. And uh, last thing I want to note is uh, Baptiste Mora, Mora and Baptiste are without a doubt, like, this is a match made in heaven if you can get them together as a support because Mora is pretty much all projectile heals, uh, projectile damage, and when Baptiste throws that ult down and Mora throws her ult down through it, I'm pretty sure that's projectile based, I mean, at least from what I've seen, and that heal gets excessive. Uh, that being said, I hope you've at least enjoyed this little overview of Baptiste. Um, I pretty much try to go in depth as possible. Uh, again, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Panic Picnic. Uh, hope, just, hope you guys subscribe, and I will see you guys at the picnic table. Hope you have a great one. Uh, bye.